Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I've always wanted to go inside my SOLIDWORKS models, you know, to get a feel for the room or building, or to see my internal parts interact, and I've never found a way to do it. If you align your view just right, zooming in gets you close, but then it's not quite right. You'll never be inside the model. As you can see here, these giant pillars obstruct this uncomfortable office that I modeled for this demonstration. So I've known for a while that SOLIDWORKS had a walkthrough function, but I've never used it because I thought I needed to follow a path, and that's not what I wanted either. I want to fly around freely. Well, I finally decided to play around with it, and uh, that's exactly what you need. Walkthrough is what you want. It does exactly what I wanted it to do. So let me show you how this works. So you'll go up here to View, Lights and Cameras. We'll add Walkthrough. Now over here on this left pane, you'll need to pick a plane that you're going to want to move around in, or you're going to want to move around parallel to, which is most likely the top plane. Um, then down here you'll set an eye height from the top plane. I'm actually not going to pick the top plane for this point because we want to, I want to tour this, this floor right here. So we're going to pick this plane and we want to be 65 inches from it because that's a, you know, average eye height for an average person. Motion constraints would be down here, uh, but we're not going to use these at all because we want to fly freely. So then we're going to click start walkthrough. And here we go. Let's go ahead and let's go inside here. Oh, I'll, I'll um, use, you can strafe to the left. It's like this, you can see how we do that. We'll go this way, we can strafe left. We can turn left, look around. It's a little bit slow, but you can do it. If you wanna speed things up, you can use the rabbit or the turtle over here. Rabbits are obviously faster than turtles. We can move our eye height up if we need to. Oh, we're going up to the other floors here. Or we can move our eye height down. Let's go back to where we were. Okay, that looks about right. Now, this area over here, this can get you in trouble. And I'll show you why here in a second. So if we walk over, say, here to these monitors, and we then look around. Let's, uh, let's do that. We'll reset our home view here. If we want to look this way, this is why these are a little bit tricky. And we end up looking over that way, towards that wall. And then we try to move forward. Watch what happens. You see, that's not forward. The keyboard works a lot easier, so I'm going to use it. This can get you in trouble. So that's why you've got to make sure that these, you want to look where you're going. So that's why I tend to use these arrows, or of course I use the keyboard shortcuts. But you want to use these to actually then move around and look where you're going. Because it, it's possible to, say, look to your right and still walk forward. That would be a natural thing for a human to do, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you're trying to make, you know, a recording of a walkthrough of something. So, that's how that all works. Now over here, you've got a couple other things. There's a map, which really is not all that useful in my opinion, but it shows you where you are inside the model, and this little um, V is where you're looking. You can, of course, zoom in and out, like so, and that'll change everything. Let me get rid of that map, like so. So you can do that. It distorts the view a little bit, but a lot of times that's appropriate for depending on what you want. We'll go ahead and reset. We're not going to toggle any sort of constraints, but this one here is most useful because this is how you can save a video of your walkthrough to show to others, which is most important if you're trying to present your idea to someone. If a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth 30,000 words per second. So you can keep your mouth shut and let the video do the talking. So over here, we'll hit record, and it's going to begin recording our walkthrough, like so. So let's do this. We'll look over here. Like I said, the, the pan view is very, very slow. We really need some art on that wall, don't you think? We'll go back over here to one of these workstations, and we'll walk through like so. Look how wonderful this office layout is. It's nice, fun, and open. Don't you want to buy this? Yes. Okay, so there we go. We can, of course, pause anywhere we want, and then we can move around and then, you know, stop pausing, but I really would think you'd want a fluid video, but here it is if you want. You, we can move, like so, and then we can unpause and re-record from here, but of course the video is going to jump, and that doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're going to do it anyway. So like so, let's go back over here towards the atrium, right along the wall, and we'll go ahead and turn. Let's go over here. We'll walk past the glass little wall, we'll strafe past that, and we'll go over here towards these little couches and chat with our friends. When we're done, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to exit this, 
And now here we have this left pane again where we can either play the recording, which I'll go ahead and show you. So here we are playing what we just did. Okay, so that's how that works. We're going to go ahead and escape this for a second. This takes us back to the property manager, but now this generate video has popped up. So we can do that. So you click here and you can save it into any format you want. I'll typically go with an AVI. I'm going to leave the aspect ratio to what it was, but this over here really needs to be changed. 7.5 frames per second is horrible if you're trying to get across a really idea. It's going to look horribly jumpy and that's just not what we want. So I will typically bump this up to 24 or 30. Now of course the file is going to get you know several times larger than it previously was, but really you, you do not want somebody you're trying to sell an idea to to watch a jumpy video. You want it nice and smooth and the movies tell us that 24 is the minimum. TVs and other things run at 30. This video that you're watching now is running at 30, but 24 is the minimum I would recommend. And then you simply hit save. And now you'll pick a codec. Usually the default one is the Intel. Um, a lot of times I'm going to go full frames uncompressed because I just I want to be able to do anything with it and get the highest quality possible. Of course, it's going to get a lot bigger when I do that, but I think it's worth it in the long run. And then you'll hit OK, and it's going to go step through every single frame that you walk through. It's going to take a really long time. I've had some videos take half an hour or more, and, um, but like I said, the, the quality at the end is much better than if you left everything alone. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that because I really don't want it to render at this point, but that's how that would work. Now the one downside, when you're in walkthrough mode, you cannot manipulate anything in your model. Here I'm, I can click and drag and to look around, and you can see here it takes a bit for everything to render. I would say you know that's kind of one of the major downsides to the walkthrough, but other than that, the walkthrough gives me pretty much exactly what I want. Now of course if you want to sell this, you know, if you're trying to sell an idea to somebody, you really need to practice your movements with the keyboard and everything, and you're obviously going to want this thing minimized but you really need to do several walkthroughs and practice all your movements because you don't want all your awkward movements to be captured as you're recording your walkthrough. But you can see that's how you freely walk, crawl, or run and fly through your model. And the idea of course of this is to show your other ideas to people that don't have SolidWorks. Because if somebody else has SolidWorks you wouldn't bother with the walkthrough, you just take the model to their computer and you know run them through it. But I hope this helps you out because I've never found anything on the internet that answered the question how do I fly through a model? SolidWorks calls it a walkthrough. Maybe that's why it's hard to find. And the command is buried deep in the view menu, and that doesn't help either. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.